If you've been traveling around the city of Jacksonville lately, you've already experienced the benefits of the city's new intelligent transportation system. Traffic flows better, message boards talk to the drivers, and cameras monitor the major intersections. These cameras are operating 24 hours a day, um, so we have the capability to not only focus on that intersection that the camera is located at, but we can focus down the corridor to see if there's any issues with left turns or traffic being backed up, things like that, so that we can go ahead and make a, immediate adjustments out in the field. The intelligent transportation system uses cutting edge technology to get drivers safely and efficiently from point A to point B. We have 87 traffic signals, um, two of which of those are city owned. We have uh, 42 cameras that we can, we can pull up all the cameras we can access those cameras, we can pan, tilt, zoom, we can, we can actually record video if we're having issues out in the field. We can record that information, play it back, and uh, look at some of the conditions that are going on out in the field that we don't necessarily always see. Information about traffic can be communicated in real time to drivers. We also have eight uh, digital message signs that we use. Um, we also have high, between 40 to 50 miles of fiber that we have access to. Ever since the fiber's been connected and we have the cameras online and based on a lot of the information from before and after studies, traffic seems to flow much better and it seems to actually work better with some of the, with some of the traffic patterns out in the field. Since the intelligent transportation system has come online, commuters have seen great benefits. During the PMP, traffic doesn't get uh, as congested as it used to get. It seems like people are using the Jacksonville Parkway much more than they had in a previous uh, year. The intelligent transportation system also allows first responders from Jacksonville Fire and Emergency Services to preempt the traffic signals and get to the emergency more quickly. I think that's a pretty important part of the system. It provides that kind of access to, so that fire are able to respond to any kind of emergencies much more quickly than they would without that kind of assistance. Widening Piney Green Road will further benefit drivers who use this road to get around Jacksonville. You have access to the base at both ends of Piney Green Road. I think that that will take considerable pressure off of Western Boulevard as well as Lejeune Boulevard. The estimation of that project being completed is June of next year and we should be adding multiple cameras on Piney Green Road as, as well as a digital message sign. Myers says that the quest to provide a safe and efficient commute never ends. You know every 18 months we're required to go through all of the corridors and all the intersections to optimize timing so this is something that just doesn't stop once we've optimized it because traffic flow changes, patterns change, volumes change. The transportation system uses data generated to refine traffic patterns and make commuting better. As being able to really show, you know, how is the traffic running now and after we optimize it, how is it going to be running? How does it reduce delay? How does it reduce emissions? How are how, how is all that information put together to provide a better experience when traveling in the city of Jacksonville? At the end of the day, the goal of the intelligent transportation system is to make commuting easier for those who live, work, or play in the city of Jacksonville.